if I'm not going fast enough for you, just, I mean, just say on the radio, you got to speed up or whatever. You know, if I can't, but I'm serious. Matt McCall has been quietly taking care of business since finishing third in Martinsville and ranking fourth during media week. Yeah. Ready to go out there and start riding around. The chase race, however, will be different and more difficult than anything the drivers have done in the gong show so far. Competitors take five solo warm-up laps and then five warm-up laps trailing a pro driver. Then after a pit stop for new tires, they'll do five more laps chasing the pro and 10 laps leading him. This is when the judges will evaluate their performance. If you're following, you can look right down the side of that truck and watch yeah. what they're doing with the wheel. There's certain guys who are more out of control than others. During his warm-up laps, Matt McCall quickly gets Jack's attention. 31.52. Really? Yeah. Bobby Hudson knows the reason for Matt's sudden speed. The racetrack is somewhat in his favor. It's a little bit cooler this morning, so therefore we should see some real fast times, and the racetrack should make the trucks handle better, stick better, so Matt may have a slight advantage because of the time of day. But Matt's super speed doesn't last. By the final warm-up lap, his times fall off due to his trouble with the corners. 31.74. Edwards watches the warm-up, knowing what's at stake for Matt and the other drivers. Darlington's toughing up by itself, but to have these guys out here with the pressure that's on them and Jack Roush standing here looking at everything, and it's pretty wild. The pressure is immense. I didn't have to go through anything like this, and I, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm really glad I didn't because the pressure is just, uh, I mean, you feel it in the air, you know, just everybody's really tense. Maybe most drivers are tense, but McCall seems surprisingly calm moments before the biggest test of his racing career. I told Carl a minute ago, I was like, you know, go out here and run off from me. He's like, well, he said, if you need me to go faster, tell me. He's like, you know, if, you, if you're that much faster, go ahead and pass me. I was like, yeah, I don't think that'll be a problem. Matt, go ahead and catch up with him. Matt McCall's eager to show Jack and the Rouse judges he should be driver X. P213, Matt, those are your times. Question is... Can he prove this running against a pro like Carl Edwards on a track as notorious as Darlington? Darlington Speedway, the chase is on. Gong Show contender Matt McCall is following behind pro Carl Edwards in the pink airfoil truck. During the race, the Roush judges will watch the competitor's truck control at speeds near 170 miles per hour. Meanwhile, for the young drivers, it'll be a real-time on-track tutorial. It'll kind of be a reassurance to them that, okay, I see what he's doing, I see where he's at on the racetrack, I can see where he picked the throttle up. I see where he started slowing down earlier than I did going in the corner. So far in the warm-up, Matt's keeping up his speed. 3187, two laps to go. Matt, you're the man, buddy. If you can go up there and do it, just going up there. You just think you're in a race. Just as important, Matt's keeping up with Carl. He did good. He made a move on him. 3193. The trailing position gives Matt a chance to see a pro driver's talent close up. Being able to follow Carl, his line is just awesome around here. He runs at the top the whole time, and I was really overdriving to get in three, and he really helped me with backing that corner up because you can really get a throttle out earlier, so that definitely helped. But driving closely behind Edwards, Matt also experiences a change in the truck's handling called arrow push, which happens at high speeds on the track. Normally, air pushes down on the front of a vehicle with a force that helps the tires grip the track. However, when the same vehicle follows another closely, the airflow is disrupted. The downward force on the vehicle lessens, and it loses grip. 
Aero push is felt most of all on the exit of the turns, where the lead truck has grip, but the following truck can't turn as well. This aerodynamic effect is another reason why it pays to stay in front. The aero push is definitely rather surprising to me because I mean, you really have to pay attention. You have to really not drive it in as hard as you were. 3215, that's five laps, bring it on in both trucks. Matt McCall overall did a pretty good job of keeping up with Carl. Carl had to slow down a couple times off of turn two, got through there much quicker than Matt. That's expected, but overall did a pretty good job for these first five laps. Right off the bat, you know, Matt is the guy I would say the other guys, you know, they, it would take a lot to outperform him. Matt's made a great first impression. Question now, can he make a great lasting impression during his critical evaluation run? With a fresh set of tires, he heads out to follow Edwards for five laps. Try to look through Carl's truck and look ahead so you can see where you're at on the racetrack, get yourself in a better position as you exit turn two. If anyone can give good advice on chasing Carl Edwards, it has to be Bobby Hudson, Carl's spotter in real life. Back on the track, Matt's taken Bobby's words to heart. He's sticking with Carl and showing dazzling speed. You should definitely feel the arrow now, Matt, to just take that into account. 3179. Talking to Carl here now, Matt. He's three back, Carl. You see him. He has better tires. And then he goes sloping in the three. Look. Yeah, Matt, Matt was really fast through turns three and four. It's somewhat of a standard corner, except for the fact that you're six inches from the wall. So um, I, I was pretty impressed with that. 32.06. One more lap, and then we switch. Isn't that correct, guys? 10 4, Bobby. Cross the line. Switch on the back stretch, guys. 32.06. After five laps, the drivers switch positions. Now Matt will lead Carl for 10 laps. If he's over down the back stretch, Carl, give it to him. Just keep your pace, Matt. Don't even slow down. Dig off. Here we go. Now, Matt must find his own line. He's hanging in there. Maybe he'll figure it out. He did better coming off yeah, that Yeah, he time. turned out lower. From the trailing position, the pro drivers want to see specific driving skills. Basically, what I'm going to be looking for is, is he optimizing his corner entry? Is he really being aggressive with the throttle? What does his car control uh, look like? In front, Matt's lap time slow down, not surprisingly. 32-25. Carl was out in front. Matt McCall saw exactly where he needed to go, because how hard he needed to enter the corners and exit the corners, and therefore he ran quicker. But now that Matt is in front, lost about three tenths, be interested to see if he can pick that back up. Just concentrate ahead, Matt. Don't look back. Don't worry about the back. You're fine. But once again, Mr. Candu McCall steps it up. Matt he was real fast. I mean, it was tough to keep up with him. And you know, that says a lot. The guy jumps in there and can go that fast. That's the feeling you have every lap racing against these guys in Nextel Cup, and, and it's neat that a guy like Matt could give me that feeling right away. Matt's also wowing the boss. 3209. <laughs> Heat is on. I'm really impressed with uh, Matt McCall. They're staying right together. Looks really good coming off turn four. Real good. You know, trucks looks real stable. He's running a perfect line. 3290, checkered flag into 15 laps. By the end of 10 laps leading Carl Edwards, Matt's making a strong case for going on. And he even brushes the wall in corner three, getting the famous Darlington stripe. 